And today we're going to look at changing the cell size of a raster or doing basically resampling. Uh, so this is used to generally coarse in rasters because if you make the cells smaller, you're really just kind of making stuff up. You're not really creating a, uh, you're not really creating new data. You're just uh, making the file larger. Okay, so uh, this is a categorical grid, um, and what we'd like to do is scale it up from a 30 by 30 meter to let's do like a one kilometer by one kilometer grid. Okay, so um, there's a couple different options. As you can see, there's options available here under grass, and then some options available under Saga. We're going to look at this resampling tool um, provided by Saga. Okay, so here's the tool. You can provide it, you have to provide it a grid, so we're going to give it the land cover. Then you have to give it a method. Um, so what we're doing is um, upscaling, right? So making the pixels bigger. So this is a categorical grid, which means we can't do any method that relies on any like averaging. Um, so we could use like cubic convolution or bilinear interpolation. We could use nearest neighbor. I think what makes the most sense for this grid would be the majority. So it's just going to return back the majority value within the cell. And we don't need to worry about downsampling because we're not doing any downsampling. And then um, for the extent, we'll just use the layer extent of uh, the original layer. And then we'll bump the cell size up to a a thousand, so one th a, a thousand kilometer by a thousand kilometer, and I think that's all we would need to do to get this to run. So let's run this. And uh, this tool, we haven't ran a lot of Saga tools in this class, um, but they do look a little different. Um, just be, they, the the interface is a bit different, and you can see that whenever it runs the the code here. Okay, so we'll hit close there, and this is what we ended up with. So let's go into properties here, and I guess I had a transformation issue there. Uh, unique values, classified values. So we can see that they are like 41 is the majority for a lot of it because it's deciduous forest. And then 42 and 43 are common in places. Okay, so that's an example of resampling a, a categorical raster. Let's look at doing a continuous grid. So here's an elevation surface and let's resample it. So this is again continuous. So that means that we could use a method that it uses some averaging. We'll just use bilinear interpolation. It's a common method for, for rasters. We'll again bump this up to a thousand and that should be good enough. We'll hit run. Oh, what did I forget? Oh, we have to pick one of these methods. All right, and again, it opens up this dialog and it's running this uh, uh, Saga tool via QGIS. Okay, and we'll close that out. And we should have ended up now with this new grid, which is a coarser version of the original data.